Hello, this is Love 4 here, and welcome to another video. Now, as I said yesterday, this is going to be my second video about the Mad Queen theory, as people are calling it. Now, what this theory is about is it's about um, uh, Cersei Lannister and her blowing up uh, the whole of King's Landing. Now, there are quite a lot of um, foreshadowing, uh, to, to say the least, uh, towards this ultimate end, and uh, I there has been a few more in the a few more in the uh, recent episodes of Game of Thrones, I brought up the stuff with Bran's vision, and that's pretty much all I, all I talked about. I've got a load more stuff to uh, to talk about in this one that backs up the theory. So yeah, uh, let's get right into it. Now, beware, this may have spoilers for the finale of Game of Thrones, but obviously I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Okay. So the first, the first bit of evidence, as I said before, was Bran's vision. Now he has visions of wildfire. Uh, of um, of uh, Eris, uh, saying burn them all. Uh, he also has visions of uh, a wildfire exploding, and also of Danny's dragons. Um, the fact that we see Danny's dragons flying over King's Landing um, might might tell people that it's not actually uh, that this isn't actually going to happen because um, King's Landing isn't blown up by the time Danny gets there. By the looks of things, in Bran's vision. And this leads me nicely on to my next point, is that she might not blow up the whole of uh, King's Landing. Instead, simply blow up perhaps the Red Keep, because uh, uh, for, for two reasons. Uh, Danny has a vision back in Season 2, I think, in the House of the Undying, and the... Um, Red Keep is all broken and snow is pouring in. Now, as you, as we know, winter is coming very soon. So by the time Danny gets there, Cersei might have already blown up the Red Keep, and it might be snowing in Westeros because winter has obviously come. Now, this this is very possible to happen. And another reason that we 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 say, see this is in the books, Cersei is already going mad. Jaime has abandoned Cersei. Um, and sort of forgotten about her because she's going crazy with the loss of Joffrey and the loss of Marcella. Um, she, in the book, she burns down the Tower of the Hand, but it is quickly rebuilt. She's going insane in the book, so this could definitely happen in the show. The only difference we've seen is Cersei and Jaime haven't really drawn apart in the show. They've, if anything, become closer after this whole thing. Um, Tyrion makes a reference to wildfire and blowing, blowing up cities in a uh, the last episode, the Battle of Bastards, he brings this up, which could obviously point out the fact that it, the show the show is trying to tell us that the wildfire is important, as it keeps on bring it bringing bringing it up in so many uh, different cases. Uh, w- another one of those cases was Jamie saying that he had burned cities to the ground, or at least Cersei would, for her children. And uh, uh, he says this to um, to Edna Tully. Uh, before he's released back to a uh, river run, he says this to him. Uh, Cersei also says this multiple times uh, in previous seasons to uh, Tywin and to to other people. To Jamie, he said she says stuff like, oh, "I I would burn cities to the ground before I let you take me away. From, before you take him away from me, I'd I'd burn cities to the ground before I marry Laura Tyrell." I think she says that once or twice. So she's uh, obviously doing that. <laughs> A lot, she says it a lot. She says she threatens burning cities to the ground a lot. Um, another piece of evidence is Kyburn. Kyburn talks about uh, a rumour that Cersei wanted him to look into. This is probably a the uh, to do with the pots of wildfire um, under the city, because it's common knowledge that Aegon hid... Uh, sorry, Aerys hid wildfire pots all around the city. So Kyburn's obviously been looking into this, getting his uh, little birds to scout out and try and find the wildfire pots under the city, and perhaps he has. And this could lead, obviously, to maybe he's only found the ones under the Red Keep, so he, only the Red Keep can be blown up, but this could all be part of her plan, especially if if something happens to Tommen, because obviously Tommen it would definitely be the straw that bro- broke the camel's back, because she's been through so much for herself anyway. She's created... She's been under s- such depression for a while, e- ever since the death of Joffrey, really. The death of Tywin then comes, the death of Marcella comes, everything's sort of been going against her. So it's it's really not good. Something's definitely going to happen about her. 
Now, people suggest that to stop this, Jamie will end up coming back to King's Landing and killing her. Although we see in the trailer that he has he is at the Twins, so I doubt that will happen. Unless Cersei blows up uh, the Red Keep later on, uh, in Season 7, perhaps. Um, yeah, so that, that that's pretty much all the evidence that we have compiled into this very short video. Um, there's actually quite a lot of it, compared to most theories, where there aren't very many. There, there isn't very much evidence. The fact that wildfire is being emphasised in the show is quite obvious as well, because Shireen's death was foreshadowed by the fact that you had a load of Shireen scenes. There were loads of Shireen scenes uh, in Season 5, whereas there hadn't been previously in the show. And the fact that wildfire keeps on being brought up and burning cities keeps on being brought up within the script could definitely be, uh, be foreshadowing something happening to do with wildfire within this series. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Tomorrow I'll be making some more videos. I'm not sure what they'll be about yet. I've got to think about that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you next time.